When using the Z-Modeler brush, hover over a poly and press spacebar to open up the Z-Modeler poly menu. In here, locate the extrude action. Below the extrude action, you'll see a series of targets in which the extrude action can be used with. And then at the very bottom, you'll see a series of modifiers. By default, the extrude action will be set to a single poly and one side poly. With the extrude action selected, if you now hover over a poly, the dialog will say extrude a poly. To perform the extrude action, simply click and drag on your model. Now, unlike the QMesh action, the extrude action will not perform the fuse function that QMesh does. So as you can see here, as I am extruding this poly out along here, it is not welding with the poly beside it. Now if we hit spacebar again and go back into our Polygon Z Modeler menu, let's come down here to the modifier of No Sides Polys. With this modifier applied to the extrude action, if I click and drag now on the poly, you'll notice that it's going to duplicate the poly and then move it into space. This allows you to come through and quickly generate different geometry islands on your model. Another nice feature about this is that after you've extruded a poly into space, you can press spacebar again and go back into the Z-Modeler poly menu and then switch back to the one side poly. Now coming to one of these areas or islands of geometry that are single sided, you can simply come through and extrude the poly again and now you have thickness applied to that poly. Another option that is in the extrude modifier is the step by brush option. Now with step by brush turned on and you perform the extrude action, you are going to get a step in the actual extrude based on your brush size. So this will allow you to get divisions to create items such as buildings and other elements on your model. Now this step by brush is controlled by your brush size. So if I change my brush size to a smaller setting and now do an extrude by poly, I'm going to get smaller steps in the actual extrude. The final option in the extrude modifier menu is the step size down here. This will allow you to come through and set a certain step size in which the extrude will be applied with. So just like the step by brush, except that you determine the size of the step right here. With this, you just hover over a poly and just simply click and drag, and the step size will be determined by the slider in the Z Modeler poly menu. This extrude option gives you a lot of flexibility to generate interesting shapes and forms on your model. So just simply dragging out, you'll get certain step sides, and then you can come through and continue modeling along the surface. Thank you.